And the Chicago Bulls drop a very frustrating game, this one versus the Golden State Warriors at the Chase Center in San Francisco, 104 to 90. And the Bulls continue their struggles this season, very inconsistent, up and down. And again, Jim Boylan, again, continues to be the center of attention. And that is not a good thing because that usually means he is making a lot of coaching mistakes. And yeah, I mean, Laurie Markkinen did not play much of the fourth quarter at all. In fact, he only played maybe about a couple minutes. And Jim Boylan just continues to to really mess with these rotations because what he's doing is he's trying to find the hot hand, trying to find the group of guys that are going to play really consistent minutes together on the court. And really what this kind of does is, you know, it builds lack of trust in your players because when you pull guys like Zach Levine early, like he did a couple games ago, um, Zach Levine, of course, didn't feel like his coach trusted him. And yeah, I mean, that's never a good formula to build a successful team when there's dysfunction going on between the players and the head coach. And that is what I think you're seeing happening with this Bulls team right now because this team has way too much talent to be losing to a team like the Golden State Warriors, the worst team in the league and worst team defensively. And this game, I mean, it was a five-point game with about five minutes left in the fourth quarter. And from that point on, the Bulls just absolutely unfolded in this game. I mean, it was atrocious to watch out there. Um, just a really embarrassing effort. I mean, the Bulls should have been able to handle the Warriors. The only player that we were down was Otto Porter Jr. And... So really a full healthy squad. We should have been able to go out there and take it to the Golden State Warriors. And in not doing so, it is just really frustrating. It's really frustrating because of the talent that this team has. This team can do so much better than our record indicates at 6-13. and 13, And the Bulls are going to have to turn it around. The owner is not happy with the, the start the Bulls have gotten off to this year. And yeah, I think it really might be time to start looking into getting another coach in the building. Because Jim Boylan is just not getting it done. I mean... Uh, just the facts are facts. But Zach Levine, he continues to put up absolute phenomenal efforts, guys. Even in the loss tonight, in 36 minutes, he put up 36 points on 13 of 24 field goal shooting with five rebounds and five assists. Tomas Satorioski, in 35 minutes, he put up 19 points on 7 of 12 field goal shooting with seven rebounds and seven assists. So what gave the Bulls troubles in this game from the Warriors was the great play of their second round draft pick, Eric Pascal, who has been absolutely a demonstrous force for them uh, with all the injuries, of course, to star Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson. Uh, Eric Pascal in this one in 36 minutes, he put up 25 points on 9 of 17 field goal shooting with 7 rebounds and 3 assists. Also, Alessi Burks in 35 minutes for the Warriors, he put up 23 points on 9 of 19 field goal shooting with 10 rebounds and 7 assists. So the Bulls definitely would like to put this game in the rearview mirror and forget about it because uh, they're, it's not going to do us any good thinking about the should-haves, could-haves of this game. But the Bulls are going to have their hands full as they are going to travel to Portland as we look ahead to the future, to the Chicago Bulls next game. They're going to be taking on the Portland Trailblazers, and the Bulls will get their hands at some much-needed revenge as the Trailblazers handed the Bulls a loss this past Monday at the United Center so the Bulls can get the Trailblazers back and get this road trip on, you know, some nice steady uh, flow. Because, uh, yeah, it was not a good one at the Chase Center. And this team needs to start turning it around. We have the talent to do so, and we have the guys to step up. We've been seeing Zach Levine play much better. We've seen Laurie Markkinen play better, although last game he didn't quite do it. Um, didn't quite have that great of a game, but 
Nevertheless, playing much better. So that is going to be a huge key for the Bulls moving forward. Again, as we always continue to talk about, the play of the starters is going to be key. We know that we have really good solid bench production coming off the bench. Uh, but the starters need to play a lot better. And the talent, of course, needs to play up to the talent level that it can. And in fact, surpass that because, you know, the ceiling is the limit for some of these young guys. A very young team, this Bulls team. Uh, but we can definitely turn it around. And so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you made it all the way through to the end of the video then be sure to smash up that like button and smash that subscriber button and smash the bell button if you have not done so already if you would like to be notified when brand new chicago bulls game recaps are coming to you will be coming to you after every game this season and also with all the latest news free agent news or any breaking trades and so, guys, let me know down in that comment section what are your thoughts on the game tonight. It was very frustrating to lose to the Warriors. This was a game we definitely should have had in the bag. Uh, but let me know what are your thoughts about the Bulls, uh, you know, at this point through the season. What are your thoughts moving forward? Do you think we'll be able to turn this ship around and get it going in the right direction? So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. And I want to take this time now to thank all of you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so much and I would not be able to be here without you guys. And I love reading those comments and having those meaningful conversations with you guys. It is absolutely amazing. So big shout out to all of you. And as always, until next time, I will see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.